Hi guys, it's me, Joyce Love, the number one empress, and I'm going to be doing a love reading for the last week of December for my Aries. Gods and goddesses, I would appreciate it greatly if you would like, subscribe, comment, and share. Um, hit the bell on the side so you can get all the updated videos when I post them. If you guys would like to um, get a, a um, personal reading or donate to the channel, the information will be in the description box below. So please check it out. And guys, um... If you hear some noise from time to time, I'm at my mom's. So, please be um, patient with me. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. So, let's get into this reading with my Aries. Let's see what's going on. God, so a spirit, I ask that you come into me and let me tell your words and on my own so I can give my Aries gain the best reading possible, as accurate as possible. Thank you so much. Amen. Now, spirits are asking, I get one card to start this off. What are we focusing on? That was too many. I guess they said, let me give it to you. Stop trying. Okay, okay. One card, please. Let's see. In every moment, Aries, the universe is conspiring to bring me towards right-minded thinking and the energy of love. Let me read that again. In every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring me towards right-minded thinking and the energy of love. So... It's just saying we need to, you know, focus more on love to radiate the beautiful energy that God's source spirit has for us. Because every moment, the universe is trying very hard to keep you focused, you know, so that you can radiate the love that you want so you can attract it. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, Aries. Love. Let's get into this reading. Let's get into the reading. And I shuffle beforehand, so let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, Aries. What's going on here? You got a stalker on your hands. Or it's you. You got to put it towards your life as best as possible. I don't know your life. I'm just reading the cards. But I do see someone is, you know, um, overbearing. That's what I'm hearing. Someone is, you know, controlling. All right, and it's making you hold back because you want peace and love and harmony in your space, in your home, in your relationship. And you're dealing with someone who is controlling, who is watching your every step, and it's making you pull back on them. And, uh, put you at a place where you at a crossroads to where you need to um you don't know what to decide at this point you're tired of waiting around for this person to act like the person who you fell in love with i'm hearing this you are Getting fed up, Aries, because you feel like this person is acting controlling and watching your every move because they have secrets 
and that's why they, you know, turning it, turning it around on you. You is is stressing you out dealing with this person and their controlling ways. You feel like this person is um, deceitful and do things behind your back. And you really assessing this situation for what it is. And um, you thinking about walking away from this situation, Aries. Because you're tired of resonating in a drained, dark energy. Mm. So, you are trying to stand up in your power as the Empress Aries. And you're trying to be at your higher self to deal with this situation. You, um, you are ready for a new beginning within your money realm. And you are not allowing... You you are learning not to allow this situation to drag you down. You are using the knowledge that you've been learning dealing with this person to excel you to a different level so that you can reap the fruits of your labor you ready for a new beginning you ready to go out and make a big purchase you probably be buying a house um a brand new car you're spending you're thinking about spending more time in nature too and trusting god so spirit on your future. You becoming spiritual through all of this. All right, all right. Um you feel like you feel like this person is keeping you stuck and stagnant and you trying to heal. You're trying to heal from this situation because it has you in a dark space. And you also dealing with your heart being broken. You feel like that you're trying to escape this. Um, you're trying to escape this agony. Wow. So you gaining and working on your um you're working on your self-esteem and yourself. All right, Aries. I'm loving it. It's, it seems deep and hard, but you doing the work that it takes so that you can, you know, get a brighter future. Okay, you're working on yourself, you're healing, you're assessing the situation for what it is. You really are thinking about walking away from this situation because I do have three of wands and the eight of cups right by each other. Okay, because you are really tired of overthinking situations. Aries, excuse me. Aries, you are tired of um, giving yourself a pity party, wallowing in your emotions, soaking in your emotions. And right now you feel like you feel like you can't do anything else with this situation. You tired of feeling like you don't know what's going on when you really do. You know that it's secrets. Thank you, Spirit. I'm hearing this. Thank you, Spirit. 
you know that it's secrets and you really tired of being all up in your head. You ready to mend your heart. I'm hearing dripping, dripping, dripping. Your outcome and advice is to stop all of the bickering, stop the fit petty arguments, and to be yourself. Work hard on whatever it is that you feel that's going to get you the financial stability that you need. Work hard on that. Take action on your life as well. Get serious about things. Address situations. Stand up for yourself. And make moves towards your future. Yeah. Aries, I um this was a nice powerful reading. I'm loving it. Um continue to work on yourself, Aries. Um it's going to take some hard work and some discipline to overcome, you know, your past energies. You know so that you can stand up in your power as the empress that you are. So that you can make the choice and a decision moving best for yourself moving forward. Continue to work on your self-esteem. And um, know that things will start to look up for you. You have um, financial abundance coming your way. You're probably getting a promotion at work. You're probably starting a new business venture. But it's time for you to continue to work on yourself. And stop worrying about, you know, this situation so much. It's draining you and it's keeping you all up in your head. Aries, I love you guys. Remember who you are. You are a god or a goddess. And you deserve the best. If your person cannot get on your level and treat you the way that you want to be treated, it's time to kick rocks. Okay? Good luck with everything. Make the right choice for you moving forward. Assess the situation for what it is. And, you know, continue with your spiritual journey. I see it. Continue digging deep, listening to your intuition. And it's back to your car. God got your back. You got angels surrounding you. And if you fix your thoughts... Everything aligns after that. And I'm going to end it there. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Um, hit the bell on the side. Thanks again for rocking with your girl, the number one empress. Aries, peace out. I love you.